Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Very sun is not uh, barely kissing the trees, and something has been on my mind. And maybe you can help me with this. Maybe you can help me with my assuage my fears. I am so upset. Um, it has to do with caretaking. It has to do with my mom. Um, a, a series of events un uh, occurred that triggered a memory uh, from my mom. And she was screaming and crying out and screaming. And it just, in a ball, in her bed, with her, with her hands up to her face, screaming, crying. The tears were going. And she wouldn't stop. And there was nothing you could do to comfort her. Um, and, of course, the dementia didn't help, so that exacerbated things. Well, the next day I had to be away from the house and I will call her my evil sister because she's truly evil. Um, got into my house because a whole lot of things were going on. I was doing my basement. I was trying to save my basement. Uh, people were here and she got into my house and she heard what happened uh, in the that my mom was screaming and crying and there was this obvious obviously there was this trauma that was living rent free in my mom's head and my sister was solved the problem she told me afterwards she sat my mother down and told her the one of the one one of the things that you should never tell a victim an abuse victim that it never happened it never happened it was her imagination uh it was a dream so when she when my sister told me this she was so proud and her chest was all puffed out yeah i saw that mom stopped screaming and crying I was so mad. I was sputtering mad with all of the things that you could say to a uh, a victim is not helpful. Not helpful. And she saw that I was upset and she immediately thought, oh, my sister must have misheard me. So she repeated what she had done to my mother. And I was just so, so mad. And she thought that I was misheard or she was going to say that again. I said, I heard you the first time. I heard you the second time. And I basically, I was just so mad. Wrong. That's the wrong thing you say. <sighs> hey, let's go traumatize. So my, basically, my mom has this huge ball of trauma living rent-free in her head. And now she has this second ball of trauma of the victim not being believed and I just don't it's just one of those things that it's like a ticking time bomb they wound up they wound up they, they it was like a, a pipe bomb they made it they crafted it they crafted it with love she she stuffed it with the with the big bangy stuff she screwed the cap on she lit the fuse and she left <laughs> and I'm like how do I unpack that? Um, I have to tell my mom's psychiatrist about it. And, but my mom is just mouse quiet now. And I'm, I just, I just don't know. It's just going to be this whole hell, <laughs> new form of hell. I'm sorry my mom experienced it. Whether it happened or not, it's there in her head as a big monster in her head. And as I say, living rent free in her head. And um, it's something that I'm going to have to, as a caregiver, figure out how to handle. And I guess a lot of it is just letting the experts and the qualified, um, the qual people qualified to handle this know that this is happening and this happened and getting this. I don't even worked on, mitigated. Uh, I think at this point, it's just getting my mother to not feel the pain or feel the pain as much and trying to mitigate it and making my mom, as I say, have all said in previous videos, um, keeping her comfortable, healthy, and happy. 
and this is something I really need to work on. So anyways, this is the dilemma I am at this morning, uh, having to deal with this uh, along with everything else that's going on in my life. So anyways, yes, I do have an evil, evil sister, and she has every time, every single time, she's like the scorpion, the tail, the scorpion, and the turtle, I say to people, no matter what, even if it helps her, she will sting 100% of the time. Even though she promises not to, no, no, um, you know, the scorpion and the turtle is, the scorpion and the turtle both wanted to cross a river, and the scorpion, the turtle said, I will, I will, uh, uh, carry you across the river as long as you don't sting me. And they got halfway across the river, and the scorpion stung the turtle, and as they both drowned, the turtle said, why did you sting me? You knew we were both going to drown. And the scorpion went, that is my nature. Well, that is my sister. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye.